Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Godspeed, and also the future Flash suit. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so, we've got like two different things to talk about in this video. So one is to do with Godspeed, because you know, Godspeed came last episode, and although I was kind of expecting him to be a one episode thing, the optimistic side of me was like, oh, he's going to stick around, maybe he'll be the season 6 villain. But yeah, it was a one time thing, but there is chance for him to return and we're going to be talking about that in this video. But also we're going to be talking about the future Flash suit because that was teased last episode as well. So this is sort of like a continuation video on my review. If you haven't seen my review, please check it out. It's on the channel right now, it came out yesterday, and also my trailer breakdown for episode 19, Iris goes to the future and she meets Reverse Flash for the first time this season, so lots to talk about right there. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about Godspeed first. So, like I mentioned at the start of this video, Godspeed is supposed to be just a one-time thing, right? So, it seems like that's the way it's going and he's not going to return. But I think there is a slight possibility that he could return and we're going to talk about some possibilities because I know a lot of you Godspeed fans like myself are a little bit disappointed because we were hoping for more from him. He was really good in the episode, it was definitely the best episode of the season. Not only because he was involved but also Nora's origin was really really well done and it was really entertaining but also intriguing and it gave us a lot of answers and clues and things like that. So. The way that they could actually bring back Godspeed would be maybe through another version of Godspeed because we know this version of Godspeed was very underpowered. He was very, very sort of opposite of his power levels in the comics because he was the god of speed. He was a actual god using his powers because he would kill all the speedsters. That's what he did recently. So he was only recently introduced, like maybe the last two years. Maybe. I think it was 2016. You could correct me if I'm wrong, but... He hasn't been around for too long. I love Rebirth and I really, really dig it so much and I love Godspeed. So that's why I was excited to see him. But he was very underpowered in this episode because he was pretty much the same power levels as Nora. He couldn't catch Nora up. They were about the same. Maybe he was a little bit more powerful because of the Velocity 9. But pretty much he was just a normal person. He was very much so like Trajectory. But... It seems like maybe he was a bit more powerful because his lightning was white at points and we know white lightning's faster aka Savitar and Savitar was faster than Zoom even at some points even though Zoom was you know very very fast. So yeah he was rather underpowered so what happens if this is just the version from the future in this timeline that we've seen so could he be from another timeline I think that's one possibility that we could see another version of him and I'm talking about the TV show, how they could say, oh, Godspeed can come back, he can be a main villain, or he can be a recurring villain, or something like that. That version of Godspeed you saw in that episode was just there to actually help Nora's origin just progress and her become a speedster and, you know, branch out to Reverse Flash to find out how to stop him. So, yeah, he wasn't a literal god of speed, he just called himself that because he was using the speed force powers. He wanted to use the Velocity 9 and find out the formula so that he could actually use the formula to make sure he's a speedster forever. So that was his reasoning for the episode. So he was powerful, but not too powerful, nowhere near as powerful as he was in the comics. So I think he could be introduced via another version maybe he's not august heart they could do what they did with zoom and the man in the iron mask they could be like oh this is a new godspeed or you know maybe it's a different version but it could be the same so if they reintroduce him they'll be like yeah have a guess do you think this is the same version of godspeed or not and then they could do like i mentioned a zoom and man in the iron mask thing where they actually revealed that it's not August Hart sometime later in the season if he were to ever come back and return. So I think that would be interesting if it was a different version of Godspeed. So it could be also from another Earth. He could be just, you know, a parallel version of Godspeed. We've seen different versions of our characters, so that's not too far-fetched to think. 
So maybe he was actually getting his powers the way he did in the comics. Maybe this version from another Earth or the, from the other timeline gets it from the Speed Force Storm. And he wasn't using Velocity 9 like he was in this timeline. So you have to remember this. This current timeline that Nora's origin was told in is definitely going to be changed. Especially with Crisis actually taking place in 2019. It hasn't changed yet because we know the newspaper hasn't changed. That video is still from 2024 when Barry made it, the video we saw last episode. So it's still intact, but some big timeline change is going to change it, so it happens in 2019. So therefore, how Godspeed was created and how Godspeed actually affected Nora's origin story could actually make Nora get a race, but also erase this version of Godspeed, and therefore it would open up the opportunity to have different versions of Godspeed come on the TV show, and we can just sort of ignore this one, this was a one-time thing, and he doesn't exist anymore. So I think that is a way for them to actually potentially wreck on it and bring back Godspeed in a bigger role. That's just my thought right here. But I could be completely wrong, he could totally not return, but the likelihood of Godspeed returning, although it's very unlikely because he was set up to be a one episode villain, I think there is definitely the possibility for them to bring back that version of Godspeed because he wasn't killed or anything, he was in custody, maybe he actually gets struck by a speed force storm when he's out of custody or something like that, and then he becomes the true Godspeed, or... It's another version of Godspeed like I've been speculating in this video. So what do you think of all this? Do you think I'm going crazy? Do you think my thoughts are way too out there? I think there is a chance, but the likelihood of Godspeed actually returning is very slim. But they definitely left it open and there is ways for them to actually reintroduce them if they want to. But obviously they don't have to if they don't want to. But let's talk about the future Flash suits. So this was later in the episode. This was pretty close to when they were getting to the end. So Reverse Flash is like, go get my Flash ring, my Reverse Flash ring from my suit in the Flash Museum. You'll be able to go into the Time Vault and you will find out what you need to know here. So it was at that point that she found a bunch of containers actually. So more than one, I believe there was three, there might have been some more behind, but anyway, they had future Flash suits in them, they had different versions, and so the one she takes and gives to Barry actually at the start of season 5, she says, oh, I've got a spare one for you, because Barry, Barry's suit was actually destroyed at the end of season 4, and then... I believe they destroyed the season 2 one and he uses various of his old suits and so this is version 16 right so between the ones we've had on the show we had the season 1 one season 2 and then season 3 season 4 so that's 4 and then yeah so between this version 16 and the fourth one that we got in season 4 obviously there was some slight alterations but I don't think they count earlier on in the seasons like I'm talking about like full suit changes so we've only had four proper ones and the fifth one is version 16 as they put it so there is a lot more future flash suits that we can potentially get and even if it's just slight modifications or big changes there is a chance that we get a lot of these new suits if the flash continues on which I 100% think it is going to go on for many more seasons so version 16 that means at least we have 12 more suits, but then we see, and this is all by the way heading up to 2024 because that was the last time Barry was alive, so he has a lot of costume changes that must be noted, but they could get it wrong, they could just say this is, you know, continuity, you know, it was just part of this timeline that he kept on changing it, but now the timeline is changing, maybe he doesn't have as many suits, but that is nevertheless, the season 5 suit is version 16 next to it is a version 19 so this could be definitely a newer suit this could be the suit that we saw when Barry actually goes back to that very same night when his mother was killed and we know that's a slightly different suit he has the chin strap and this current version 16 version doesn't have the chin strap so it seems like maybe version 19 could be the last suit Maybe that's the 2024 one, or maybe the one prior to that, because obviously Barry would be wearing that when he went dis when he disappeared. Sorry. So it seems like he definitely does 
get the chin strap back, that's a notable thing. And the colour of the suit stays pretty much the same because we suspect that the version of the Flash that comes back with Reverse Flash at the time of Nora's death is actually the 2024 version of himself and that's when he disappears because, you know, we have no idea where he goes after that. We had never, ever got any answers to do with that before. So I think that could be, you know, version 19 that we saw there. Or it could be actually, sorry, version 20, because this version 19 one would be a different one, because Cisco and Ryan Troy, who made the version 16 suit, we know that that was confirmed in episode 1 of season 5. I don't think they make replicas of the suit, they don't make like double, they just make one, then they'll make a new one if one gets destroyed, something like that. So, yeah. We're definitely going to get some upgrades, so I wouldn't worry about sticking with this suit. I know not everyone's a big fan of this suit. I'm not a big fan of the Season 5 suit. I think it's the worst one yet. I didn't really like the Season 4 suit, but the Season 4 suit was significantly better than the Season 5 suit. So looking back at it, I'm like, hmm, that's pretty good actually. But yeah, my favourite is probably the Season 3 and Season 2 suit. The Season 1 suit was really good as it went on. They made some modifications as the episode started shooting just for you know comfort sake and how it looked on screen so also the crisis video we need to talk about that because in that video they actually cut off the below his shoulders and they cut off his cow so he doesn't have a cow it's just him looking into the camera but he is wearing a red flash suit and this is in 2024 obviously this is all going to probably change because of the timeline and crisis happening in 2019 as we all are suspecting it will probably change but at this point I do believe he is wearing a future flash suit that's why they wouldn't show it in like a wide angle obviously they wouldn't have created it on the TV show right here but for when they're setting this up in 2024 he would have a new suit he would have that future version whatever it turns out to be and that's why they didn't put a cow so they didn't have to establish oh we're getting this suit or anything like that and you know there is no actual shot of or we don't have any view of his below his shoulders basically so we don't know how that all looks down there like how his suit looks so i think he will get potentially an upgrade by crisis because that is crisis that he's in you know the red skies are in the background we are presuming that's 100 percent in the middle of crisis when he's about to disappear because he's very emotional and everything like that it seems like he might get an upgrade if the timeline changes so crisis in 2019 maybe he gets an upgrade in season six for his flash suit because he would presumably get one before a massive event like that and it seems like he actually does because they didn't show any footage of below his shoulders or his cow so what do you think? Do you think you'll get a new suit in Season 6? I think there's a higher possibility. There's been quite a lot of backlash over Grant's new suit because it's just not very good. I think they definitely need to bring the chin strap back. It just... It doesn't look super, super nice like the past suits have. It's very much so a downgrade. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the future Flash suits? Do you think it will get an upgrade for Crisis next year? But also, what do you think of Godspeed? Do you think Godspeed will return? Were you happy that he was a one-time villain? Or are you a bit upset that he wasn't sticking around for longer? I'm very happy with him in the episode. I thought he was really good. But I'm upset that he didn't have a bigger role going forwards, perhaps, as a Season 6 villain or something like that. Because he was very underpowered and comparing to the comics, I think they didn't stretch him to the use that they could have. So, I thought he was effective for the episode, I really loved the episode, the best episode of the season, but I thought maybe they could have done better, so I'm hoping at some point, I think there's a possibility that Godspeed returns, and I would really, really like that. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter at the DC TV Show, also on Instagram at the DC TV Show to stay up to date with me. So, I'll see you guys later, goodbye.